Dun Diddley. Bang Dun. Right there. Straight figure man. Nineteen eighty-eight Pontiac uh, Grand Am GTA, uh, pretty much stock. It's an all-original car. Um, really nice high-end stereo from back in the day. All uh, image dynamic speakers and uh, Phoenix Gold um, amplifiers all in the back. And as you'll see afterwards, it's an all-original period correct car that uh, basically was made way back in the day, and it's exactly the way it was now as it was then. What's it? What's the stock horsepower on one of these? Um, so back in the day, it was uh, relatively a lot, considered nothing, you know, like it is today. But mm -hmm. it was basically 225. Okay. It's got the uh, 5.7 liter motor, TPI motor. Okay. Which the exact same motor that the Corvette had in it at the time, but it was detuned because uh, you can't buy a Trans Am for, you know, uh, almost half of what a Corvette used to be. So they would basically detune the motor. Right. But the block, everything's almost identical. If you pop the hood, they'd look identical to you. You wouldn't know what it was, right? Oh, fuck, yeah. It's all original Alpine, cell phone, everything from back in the day. Wow, very clean, though. The only reason why it's out this year is because of uh, no car shows, right? Okay. Right, right. Because normally it all stays. Oh no, it's all good. We got it. We got it. We got a good shot there. Yeah, that looks great, man. If you want, I can uh, turn on the dash and all that. You can see it, it's all digital, right? Oh, fuck yeah, let's do that, sure. Holy shit. You can get that if you want. Get what? Uh, oh, that no, your that's phone? not mine, no. Oh, okay, okay. So the phone, uh, Oh, it's it got works. the phone in there, too. Yeah, fuck, so yeah. the phone, because it's all analog, still works. If you were to take it to, like, a third world country where they're still using analog signal, not digital signal, right? Right. So, I don't know, if you take it to somewhere where everybody's still on analog, all you'd have to do is register the, I think it used to be called the ESM number back in the day, and it would work, no problem. Wow, that's crazy, man. It's very rare. You Like, last time I saw one of those is in, like, a, a 90s Audi, I think. Okay. Something like yeah. that, yeah. No, super rare. Like I said, everything works on the car. It's an all-original car. It's got, like, 87K. Uh, the speakers are all high-end, like I don't know if you can tell in here, but this are all custom-built underneath here. That's actually horn tweeters and the five and a quarters in the bottom there. Oh, I see what you're talking about, yeah. Wow. All image dynamic stuff. Wow, very good. Great fucking shape, man. Oh, in the back, wow. Like I said, this was all made way, way back in the day. It's all uh, Phoenix Gold stuff, uh, early 90s. Mm -hmm. And it's all original to that car from that period. So your goal was to keep this as original as... Yes. Right. The car was bought. It wasn't, it's not original from factory with the stereo system. Yeah. But after basically a got bought, it got sent to a stereo shop. And this is what they put in it. All Phoenix Gold and all high-end like Alpine and the Image Dynamic speakers. Crazy, crazy. I appreciate that, man. No problem. It looks great. Yeah, yeah.